but it's fucking even better to win a league or to win a playoffs to get out of a league. That shows that you've been consistent. We've been hot and cold. Can we end it fucking strong? Can we end it on a consistent run? But these are no fucking mugs. We have to put them to the sword. Chances we put away. One thing I will say, yeah, Andy Somo's not here. He's bound for four games. All right? Forwards, we need to step up. <coughs> How many score fucking six goals in four games? You fucking show that we don't fucking need him. Yeah? It's down to you boys at the top end of the pitch. When we get a fucking chance, don't fucking think about it. Put it in the back of the head. Yeah? That's where we are now. Business fucking end. I'm telling you. Where is you? Uh, where did you go? I Uber, bro, I, I, I'll, go? I'll say it on camera, bro. <laughs> Cancun, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Everything's on camera, bro. Let's crash. Penguins goalkeeping. Yeah, man. G, man, what are you saying? Oh, biggest game of the season. How are you Sorry. feeling personally? I feel alright. A little bit tired as always. You was with me today. I got a little one on the way. Putting up shelves. Putting up TV brackets. Setting up offices. Now ask me how I feel about the game. How do you feel about the game? I can't wait to fucking play. We've got Sam Chick. Oh, we've, got the, we've got the Penguin. <laughs> a real goalkeeper's union. <laughs> People watching this series will say that you're the main character. Right. You're actually the main person in the show. I'm the side character from the side quest. You're not, you're the main person. What a life, me and the gang them live. Took a couple girl hotel crib. Showed that lady how I hold it down. Forget her man, now I hold that crib. Might be on SC Dons one day, just commentate with you, mate. Yeah? yeah. What position? Same position as that. <laughs> I saw you. By the bar, mate. By the bar. This guy. They're gonna come at us. They're gonna come at us early, they're gonna come at us quick. Yeah, they lost on Saturday to Staples 1-0. They're a good fucking side. We have to turn up. Do not take liberties tonight. Someone asked said to me, we're poor midweek. We're not, because we went to Whitstable and we fucking rolled them over. That is the best side I think we've played all year. Tonight, we get into the playoffs and we Stay there yeah. and we get promoted out this fucking league. Come on in, boys! Don't fucking go away! Come on, boys! Open the door, then no! Make a way! Boys, I'm not going to say much because everyone knows what today means, yeah, about the playoff, etc. But what I will say, yeah, I left my missus in the hospital bed to come out to play, yeah. Let's not fucking toss it off, yeah. There'd be a reason why I fucking done that, yeah. Go from the fucking off. Do not let these boys breathe. I've never had to be in a change room like this where I've actually liked people and it fucking affects the way I want to play because I actually like you lot. I actually fucking like you. And that's rare to meet personalities that you think, fucking oh, I want to go to war with them. And that's the chain room we've got. So that fucking means you run through the brick wall. That fucking means you put your body on the line. And you make the right decisions for each other. We have to win. That's the job. Win the game. Hands in. Boys. Full stop. Put everything out there. Yeah? One, everything. two, three, go! Let's win it. Come Boys. on. From the off, from the off, from the off. Come on, Josie's boys. Play like Fergie's boys And we go wah 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 We go wah 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 You know where it is, it's your non-league Mildew Welcome back This week we're playing in a midweek game against Elmstead We lost 1-0 to them earlier on in the season And with only 3 points difference in the playoffs Hey, whoever wins tonight enters the playoffs It's bragging rights, it's, it's, you're playing for something so, don't forget today's light count is 500. G, -g, -g unit! It's the first few minutes in the game, you stick it on their back line. We've done nothing short of that. James Ayatine tries to link up the play, Sammy Morgan pressing. And Elson managed to half clear it, and Cameron McGregor's come out on top. And Eric, frustrated, gives away a foul. RP7, a trusted steed, we know what he can do, he puts it on the back stick. Granty! Just wide. JB on the football, but he still doesn't understand his nickname of Wilson Palacios. If only he knew his football. 
Anyway, and the giraffe tried to fireball through and it actually led to James Ayrton getting through. Clear sight on goal. And the keeper's done superbly. He's forced him one way and he's parried it and his defenders have covered him. Now it's his opportunity to get his side up the pitch. They obviously haven't been watching the vlog. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot tall. Anderson wins his header and JB puts Sammy Morgan in a foot race. How have we got a corner? RP7, a trusted steed in great form as everything off the pitch and on the pitch is going fantastically. The keeper spills it. Obasa Anderson, how did they not put it in? It's on the goal line, gentlemen. We look at it from the other angle. He's dropped it literally on the goal line and then he's earned himself a free kick. You have to admire teams that want to play football, but play the conditions is the same as lasted for years for one reason. You can't play on this pitch, son. Forgive me for my Jamaican Scottish patois. I grew up with a Scottish motivational college teacher who always asked me, give me more, son. Run that extra yard. How about do you ain't touch this team? A massive save from the big six foot six keeper. JB in the mixer with Eric again. And the pressure cooker is on. My man's gone down. Play continues. Sammy Morgan battles. They eventually pass it forward. It's in the... Listen, no one's got control. This game is so fast-paced that the ball goes out. Gaffer, tell him where it is. Oi, oi. Got ball in challenges and you won't get fucking hit, then we are. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Sammy, you've got a piece of movement. Hey, don't fucking cheat. There's a brown stain on his phone. Both Elmstead and Croydon could both arguably say that they deserve to be 1-0 up. Both having clear sights on goal. Ayatine links up with a Bassa touch swivel shot and it's just wider the chopsticks. The goal scorer but the last time the two sides met was Mega Mind and he's causing all sorts of problems down the line. He tried to keep it on, it's ended up being a through ball. And luckily, safe handling from G. The game's gone soft, even at step six. Real recognise real. This is embarrassing. You've seen it at the top level when two big names meet each other in a fixture and you think, is it going to be a great game of football? But really the tension's so high. I can match, I've got that same feel about it in this game. Neither team at 43 minutes, 44 minutes has had much to show for it. So you're just waiting on a mistake. Shin Ziesel sidewinds it up the pitch. A bastard tries to link up, but the keeper does well. Don't forget DFC, 4th of May. There'll be better looking ring girls than that penguin. You have to commend those fighters ready to get in the ring. But the boy who cried wolf the two has gone down again. And you know what the moral of the story was. You know, liars will not be rewarded even when they tell the truth. So no one believes him. With the number two finally getting up off his backside and not needing any major medical treatment, we're going to give the referees their tea break. What did Michael Kyle say to his family every time they asked him a question that he didn't want to answer? Eh, 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 ne? Ah, for job! I don't give a shit. There's no way that I will say there's no way the goalkeeper can drop it. There's no way the goalkeeper can drop it. I'm up there as well. Six yard box and no one taps it. It's impossible. I'll poke it. Someone should be on that keeper though. That's everyone in the box. That's everyone. If you bounce in front of me, I have to kick it. As much as we're not getting hurt in any in any sort of areas, please don't give them any reason to, yeah, big to, save, to, to get any motivation. Yeah. Big save, G. Please don't switch off. Don't switch <coughs> off. Sometimes that ball, when it bounces, kills us. Yeah. Because they're quite nippy, and sometimes they've even got like one running he's unknown, blind. Well, he's not, he's not bad. The little one comes he's in just, inside just and runs. Yeah. 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 Like that. that first half reminded me of our first seven games this year. Those that were here at that time, where we have to be puffed. We had all the ball. Okay, and we just didn't f***ing score a goal. Yeah, and then unfortunately, many sort of games, they came back to buy us in the f***ing arse. My forwards need to be killers. Yeah, I'm not just saying it because he's not here and I'm not going to keep going on about him, but Somo, f***ing one of them, he has one or two so far. 
because he's a killer. We have stopped everything they do. I want to watch them at Rochester, and all they want to do is move, rotate, get the ball, pop, pop, pop. We haven't gave them a fucking sniff to do that. Yeah, that's credit to our shape. Games of football, you cannot be on top for fucking 70-80% of the time and not punish. Because it will, I promise you, it will come back to bite us. Yeah? However it may be. When you play football, when you watch football, you get a feeling for a game. Your warm-up was top. Yeah, your warm-up was top. The way you started the game was top. We should not fucking fear anyone. When we play, we should not fear anyone. I know we've dressed this up, we said it's a big game for what we want to achieve in terms of getting promotion into the playoffs. On that 45 minute showing, okay, we are levels above them. But it's nil-nil. So respect the game, respect the scoreline, but go out there and put them to the fucking sword, show your quality, and let's get ourselves in the fucking playoffs. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah, yeah let's go. Let's go. Big one boys, big 45 minutes, come on! The gaffer's words should be ringing in your ear after a half-time team talk. It doesn't matter if you're playing for Yovo in the conference or Smelly Socks FC in step 10. That's a massive chance. You have to play the game for where it is. Moments of quality aren't always going to be shown, but Grant, he plucked that one out of the sky, plays it into Ayatine, Ayatine links up with Abassa. And you can argue, why are boys playing at this level? It, it, it's, it's up to them, it's the lifestyle, it's the choices they make. It doesn't mean there's a lack of quality. And Ryan Palmer's been one of the biggest signings this season for that. Halley, back at his boyhood club. Can he find that magic that we need? The goalkeeper misses it, and again, we're giving away fouls for nothing. It's Dyche versus Allardyce football. Who's going to get the higher percentage? Bacola threw on goal. Big G saves it. And the referee decides to reverse the decision. So if he had scored, what would have happened? Elmstead with a chance to punish Giles' methodical army on a set piece. Assisted by the officials, whipped in back stick, headed up. Seconds is whitey out for a corner. They had the chance to clean him off that and you gave him another attack. It's fucking terrible. Yeah. Elmstead's catalyst is their player Eric who plays for a UTR on a Sunday. We've come against each other so many times. Oh, but excuse the pun. No diddy that. And there's no goal down that end. Tell me you do YouTube without telling me you do YouTube. Jordan Anderson tells Big G that he doesn't want to take the goal kick. But he knocks it, so all of a sudden, it's questions on whether, is it a goal kick or what's happened? The referee's not signaled anything and G ends up kicking it out. A deep free kick in the Elmstead half and the keeper decides to kick it off. It, apparently somebody's injured, and if they ain't, I'm expecting Kevin Oates to have a message for him. Certain individuals are thinking that they're maybe in a bit of a comfort zone. Well, let me tell you right now, you're not. Some of you are going to get some unpleasant phone calls tomorrow morning. RP7 goes short to Governor. Governor sets it back. Blink and you'll miss it. A knuckleball cross for RP7 and a buzzer finish! Oh my goodness! With the average spend that rocker now being 190 for a day, that's no longer money well spent. Oh, Bassa is though. His goal was put the tramp 1 0 up against Elmstead. We put the Elmstead bird through a standout TV grilling. RP7 drills it low and hard. Oh, Bassa with a lack of technique and pure instinct uses his big toe to get it over the line. It comes off his big toe and we love it. There's no why for that from the white minister. It's a goal from our AFCON with a sprinkle of under the radar. You know about me. You know about me. Halley makes his way off and it's the return of Ron Kariba. Halley has had a decorated career and it's so amazing to see him at his boyhood club again. At one point he was swapping shirts with Aguero. That's a real baller that. Elmstead find themselves playing one and two touch football back to what they know best and they find themselves in behind the trans back line on the angle can't really get his shot off good pressure from Whitey Whitey forces him to cut it back and he's got time on the back post if you can see him mega mind wide down goes Frazier down goes Frazier and our giraffe has taken a knockout punch and he's 
buckled at the ankle, he's not going to be playing much more. So we look for too many girl to save the day. Rufus on. After his antics out on pitch, Big G's been described as a goalkeeping rugby player. Well, we're kicking like that. We're going to make Fredo Basso our running back. Give that all black a new name. Hey, he ain't gonna get no crips now, you know. 12 minutes to go from that hollow ground of three points and three pints. And we've got desperation as Elsie claimed to have got a penalty. I'm not gonna show you a replay because it's clear as day it ain't one. One thing for certain, if the goalkeeper didn't need to be the first name on the team sheet, it'd be this man, the governor, the Bradford Dynamo, covering every blade of grass at the arena. Instinctive interception, simple and effective. A captain without the armband, let alone his infectious attitude. Elmsid are going to continue to try and throw the B&Q sink at us. But not all goalkeeping is flash saves. Sometimes it's just sweep a keeper. Yes, Elmstead still unable to get on the trams because they haven't got enough money on their travel card. Chris, what do they use? Oyster card. Oyster card. It's their oyster card and it's the Cameron Governor, the governor of fit. We're pressing, we're tackling, we're getting up the pitch. A basser against his teammate and he's earned us a throw. Tesco, every little helps. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Stop making them take the piss out of you. 91st minute approaching, and it's still 1 0. Grant, he tidies up. No, he doesn't. But Cola, the DUA, touch this team. They don't want it. Let's get it cracking, bruv. It's a finger licking KFC style save from the keeper. Oh, no, he's, he's kept us in the game. And this youngster, he's just not ready for. Oh, fuck off, George. He's as fit as a fiddle. Gareth Bell was another one. Even in the 93rd minute, still able to drive and get us territory up the pitch. He's been brilliant and what? Why are we not getting the basics done by the officials? The basics! Elmstead tried to clear it and look who's there tidying up that kitchen sink. The humble man, the governor. RP7 helps it round the corner. Rod Kariba plucks it out of the sky. Drives down the line and earns us a foul. We're almost there, chaps. We're almost there. A little one-two between Governor and RP7. You're seeing what I'm seeing. I can't believe it. He's got out of there. He squares it to a passer. And he's just not fit enough. His legs have given up on him. And look who's there again. McGuff. Ah, uh, listen. Listen, that's it. There's going to be one more throw. One more attack. This has got to be the last attack of the game and I can hear that music. Please, Chris, surely not. This can't be another late equaliser. The keeper, Dan, has got a chance to lift it into the area. Two Elmstead players climb up. It falls out for a goal kick. We're going to get the three points. You know the story about the rabbit and the tortuga. The rabbit was key to show how quick it was in the race to get to the finish line. The tortoise trusted itself, paced itself, and it was steady and it won the race. Croydon find ourselves in the playoff spaces with five games to go. It's not been a steady or line of progression, but all mountains can be conquered. We found our rhythm, we found our voice, and we found your support. Thank you for another week. Don't forget to comment below. The Kent Cup final is tomorrow. Wish us luck in the comments below. And we will see you next week. You're part of the unit. What unit? The G unit. G, -G, -G unit. Two cup finals coming on for the um, promotion. Bring it on. Big G's a man, bruv. <laughs> Up the trans, bruv. Up the trans. Up the trans.
the Rams. We got Rufus, the main character of this whole show. Yeah, uh, mate. <laughs> Bayos is still not dead yet, mate. Oh, no, boy. Come on. Through. We're there in the building. The thing is, you see, once we're we there. get a taste of the playoffs, it's mad for everyone. We're there. It's we're there. Everyone. Come on, play us now, man. <laughs> they're there still. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, dude. You guys here? Oh, f***ing amazing, mate. F***ing the playoffs now, boys. In play no, no, this is the penguin thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was a daisy cut in the warm up. I actually like you, Lombard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love it. Boys, listen, yeah, we have one objective today, okay, which was to get the three points, okay? Fucking tough game, it puts us into fifth place now. Now, believe me, it's ours to lose, okay? We fing dust down, we recover. I know it's cliche, it's boring, but Saturday we go again. It means fuck all if we win tonight and we get beat on Saturday at Thameswood. Them draws are turning into W's. Keep doing what we're doing and we'll get what we fing deserve this year. Two cup finals isn't enough for me. Yeah? <coughs> isn't enough for fing you. Isn't enough for the fing staff. We get what we fing deserve, which means hard work. Okay. Okay. The whole thing's gonna come down. Wait, wait. Literally. The whole thing's gonna come down. Wait, I went, hey, what you said before the match? Like, I'm not playing about with that shit. We're doing a madness. What's going on? I don't have a clue, fam. God, fam. God's, God's given us a story to. To show, show the power of his, it show his power for this is some Nick stuff. This journey's been sick in it. Payoffs. It's like we're, 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 um, all or nothing documentary. Yeah,